Pescott, good morning. And as you can imagine, the concern is high because it's just so hot this summer with so many people on the verge of homelessness. So we know last month there are more than 7,000 eviction filings. That's more than what we saw in April, which was about 6,800 or so. But it doesn't come close to the record that we saw in 2024 when landlords filed to remove renters uh, more than 8,000 times. So we spoke with Maxine Becker, who's an attorney advocate with Wildfire AZ. That's a housing organization. She says these evictions can be attributed to rising costs of living and an affordable housing crisis that the Valley has been experiencing for years now. Take a listen. We have a, a real lack of affordable housing. We've lost 80% of homes that are less than $1,000 a month since 2010. Um, and so for people that are on really restricted incomes, um, it gets very, very difficult to keep a roof over your head. And the average judgment in these cases are $3,000. In some cases, that could be just a couple months worth of rent. We know that the prices have gotten so high nowadays. We do have some resources on our website. That's azfamily.com for anyone who might be in a tough spot this time mm -hmm. of year. Scott Test, we'll send it back to you. A lot of people are. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's sad. David, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right.